In June, a photo appeared on social networks, showing a Ukrainian Kama 6x6 truck with a 1950s vintage naval 2M3 turret armed with 25mm cannons mounted on its bed. One more improvised anti-drone weapon. The war in Ukraine has already supplied countless opportunities to see improvised field modifications, and improvised mountings of unexpected weapons on both wheeled and tracked chassis. Some of these weapons are really old, for instance, World War I Maxim guns mounted on pickup trucks. The naval gun known as the 2M-3 was developed between 1945 and 1949 to arm various smaller combat ships, submarines, and civilian ships supporting the Navy. The use of the 25mm 110pm autocannon is unique to the Soviet Navy. They were not used on aircraft or land-based applications. Production of the 2M3 and 2M8 guns began in 1953 and continued until 1984, primarily in the Soviet Union. It first entered service in 1953, followed closely by the 2M8 in 1954. The design is based on the earlier 25mm km 84 automatic cannon. The 1,500 kg locally controlled open roof mount is rather simple and is fitted with two 110pm autocannon, with one positioned above the other. The single operator is seated on the left of the mount, the two guns are located vertically in the middle and the ammunition is stored on the right. Normally the mount is operated hydraulically but manual control is fitted as backup. The guns are air-cooled but cooled using a water hose during sustained fire. The rate of fire is 450 rpm. The effective range averages 2,500 meters, but 1,700 meters in the anti-aircraft roll. The barrel life is around 12,000 rounds. Over time, the 2M3 and 2M8 guns fell out of favor as newer technologies emerged. The changing landscape of naval warfare demanded more advanced and versatile weapon systems. As a result, the 2M3 and 2M8 guns were gradually phased out of active service, making way for more modern naval armaments.